Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Cafecito Conversation. I am your host, Domenica Scatel. Super excited to have all of you meet my next guests and friends, Patty Savala and Suli Altamarino, which I, right now, I'm going to tell you if I said that wrong, Suli, sorry. <laughs> but we will, we will talk about it ahorita. They are the founders of Queen de Mi Corazón. Mexican jewelry and apparel. So let's bring them up because we're going to have an amazing conversation. Let's see. Hola, 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 mujeres. Hi. Hi. Yes, salud, salud aquí con el cafecito. A estas horas ya se necesita algo un poco más grande. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué están tomando? Yo tengo... Um, tengo chocolate en mi oh, qué rico. Uh -huh. Yo café de la olla, eh, pues rico, del y dulcito para uh -huh. la hora, para despertar un poco más. Yo tengo chamomile tea. Oh, yes. Coffee after six, I'm not going to go to bed. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I just, I love it though. I can't help it. <laughs> Just oh, like, oh no no no! I have my coffee here, so back like there's there's, there's a backup in case of emergency, right? <laughs> it's just warm by my side whenever I need it. And for me, it doesn't work anymore. It's just ya no me quita el sueño, así que <laughs> <laughs> right no, yo estoy igual. Um, but mujeres, thank you for being here. I'm so excited, and I let's let's dive in. Yo quiero saber, yo quiero saber de ustedes. Um, dime un poquito um, so, so our viewers can know who you are. So, okay. you know. ¿Yo? Yeah. Ay, ay. Pues bueno, primero muchas gracias por el espacio, por la oportunidad pues de tener este, este canal para platicar, ¿no? Eh, yo, este, ¿quién soy yo? Bueno, pues he estado en un ambiente de, de emprendimiento eh, con toda mi familia casi toda la vida y, y muy muy enamorada de las artesanías mexicanas, ¿no? Entonces, eh, pues bueno, ahora en este nuevo proyecto que pues nos surgió muy espontáneo con Patti desde que nos conocimos, eh, empezamos a platicar mucho pues acerca de nuestras vidas y, y cómo empatamos o conectamos en, en muchos puntos y sobre todo en el de eh, el amor propio, ¿no? Eh, ¿Qué tan importante es? Eh, cómo, ¿Cómo lo hemos reconocido a lo largo de nuestras vidas? Y, y bueno, empezamos este, yo por mi parte eh, de joyería, este, sobre todo, por ejemplo, diseños donde, eh, pues, haciendo alusión al nombre de Queen de mi corazón uh -huh. y que justo pues nosotras, nosotras eh, somos, somos eso, ¿no? Darnos esa importancia y empezar por ahí eh, y pues a valorarnos, a valorarnos nosotros y con este amor pues poder transmitirlo también a todos los demás. Me encanta, Suliwo. Gracias, bienvenida. Gracias. Um, I'm going to switch back to English just for... You know, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> um, I'm Patty. I um, I always struggle describing myself. I'm a mom. I'm a creative person. I'm a graphic designer, mm -hmm. and I'm a photographer. Uh, I met Suli about a year ago, I think, maybe a little bit less. Uh, I saw her post on Facebook, and the universe told me to ping her. And I did, and then I wanted to practice product photos. So I reached out and she has a jewelry line in Mexico called Tisana Mexicana. Mm -hmm. And I really like her products and I really like what she was doing. And I, I, I messaged her out of the blue when I said, hey, <laughs> I am this person and I want to do this. Do you want to like collaborate? And it was me, like it was easy and it was fun and um, She started supporting me with like my photo stuff and like giving me ideas and spreading the word. And it was really cool that we both started empowering each other to whatever we were doing. 
Right. I think that's like literally what brought us together. Mm -hmm. And then I had a photo shoot that was a little far away and I couldn't drive with my kids because it was snowing and then the way back, it was complicated. And then she offered to drive with me. And it was interesting because like COVID stuff, you hesitate mm -hmm. to like go be in a car with somebody you don't know. Plus mm -hmm. being right. in the car with somebody you don't really know. <laughs> um, it was right, great. Right. We couldn't shut off the whole trip. We covered everything from parents to siblings mm -hmm. to the work environment to immigration issues mm -hmm. to body image. Like it's crazy. If my steering wheel could talk, like it would be <laughs> an interesting conversation to have. And we, I think we clicked, and we really clicked in this search of of empowering both mm -hmm. each other and like the people around us. I think that's something that really vibed about, I would like to think about me that she mm -hmm. really liked to me. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I think about her that I really liked. How how we, we were seeking for more. We were seeking for financial independence. We were seeking for a creative outlet. Mm -hmm. I think we were both seeking for collaboration um, from like, experiences where collaboration wasn't great, mm -hmm. where we needed something new and then it happened. <laughs> I love it. Is, it. is it a beautiful, the universe? Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is like a lot of things just kind of clicked into place. And I think we were driving when we said something about tacos and we thought like, oh, quiero tacos. And it was like, yeah, that should be a t-shirt, right? Oh my God, mm -hmm. yes. And then can you imagine another t-shirt with like this? And then can you imagine this? And then like immediately without really realizing it, we started collaborating. I think it's really cool how like easy or seamless it has been because nothing of, of what we are doing is either mine or hers. Like okay. all of the ideas are oh, what if we do this? And then she comes up with something better and then I come up with something and then it, it's working really cool. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, it, it has been amazing and mm -hmm. how easy it has been, how simple, how just relaxed, casual. I mean, it has been very, um, very nice to work with Patty <laughs> and amazing how we just connected somehow and and how we just came up with a lot of ideas and inspired by mexican culture i love it que bonito and I, and that's how you know that the universe is working in your favor porque todo es mágico you know you just, it's just a beautiful mesh of Cosas que son bonitas and it, and it just flows to you. You know, you don't get stuck. Like, I love that. Thank you for, for sharing that story. Um, <laughs> you know, that's how I know. You know, when I'm with somebody and I know that we click and we're talking about tacos y comida from, <laughs> right? Right? I mean, come on. Yeah, sí, yeah. That's how you know. That's how you know. I mean, anoche tuve una amiga que me mandó un texto y este, um, you know, en el momento I don't have a significant other. Um, and me dice, Dominica, I'm here. She's in Seattle, no sé qué parte. Pero dice, I'm at this um, rooftop fog bar, creo que se llama. And she's like, hay un montón de, de guapetones aquí. Dice, um, send me your photos. I was like, what? I was like, And she... Y la este de she started taking selfies con los los muchachos que estaban allí presentes. <laughs> She's like, buy me drinks, está casada ella. And so um, her husband was talking to them too, pero me estaba mandando las fotos. Y dice, ¿cuál te gusta? Y dice, me compré un, una bebida ahorita de 100 dólares. And I, she's like, oh, I don't even want to spend 10 dollars on my drink. <laughs> and I was like, oh. She's like, yeah, yeah, es, es calidad. They're spending 100 dollars. And I was like, is the, oh, that's how you know you have that amiga that's like, exactly. that, that amiga, because ya se está buscando un esposo. <laughs> Text me your picture. We need to get on this. ¿Verdad? <laughs> sí, y por ejemplo, algo que, bueno, yo cuando llegué a Seattle, pues no tenía 
eh, amigas de mi edad, ¿no? Decía, yo tengo familia, es mi, mi tía y, y todas las personas que ella conoce. Y yo decía a mi novio, es que tengo que conocer, pues, a otras amigas, ¿no? De, de mi edad, quiero hablar de, de temas de mi edad, quiero <risa> compartir como pues lo que estoy viviendo, ¿no? De estar en otro país eh, y como ese proceso de adaptación con alguien que realmente pues entienda esos puntos, ¿no? Uh -huh. Que Patti pues es mexicana y, y también me entiende en esa parte, ¿no? Y, y bueno, no sé, millennials. Este, <risa> no, no, and I think that's important, right? To be able to connect with somebody that understands and that you know you can identify with and um, I know that through this platform I've had the opportunity to interview other Latinas you know um, que dicen and this is you know it's hard to que um, tener ese espacio con personas que se identifican de de donde vienes you know so that's where it starts. It starts the esa conexión de poder hablar about it and, and share those stories and how we feel. And, um, you know, I love it. And that's why I love the the platform of being able to say, Ven, you know, meet with me for a cafecito and let's just have a conversation, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Y yeah. bueno, para mí fue mucho también como la parte de, del idioma, o sea, poder decir las palabras que te llegan a la cabeza, ya sea Spanglish, español, inglés. <laughs> pero como tener pues esa persona que es Patti con quien puedo compartir esa parte, ¿no? Expresarlo uh -huh. tal cual, quiero tacos, ¿no? O lo que sea. Uh -huh. Sí, yo, yo tengo dos, dos hijos, a nine-year-old uh -huh. and a one-and-a-half-year-old. And I don't, I, we never like really planned to move to the U.S. It wasn't like this actionable plan Mm -hmm. um, but about five years ago, my husband got an opportunity and we moved to Atlanta. Okay. And we were there. I had a three-year-old in my house and I did not live in a Latino community whatsoever. And it can be really isolating because she wasn't in school age yet and I didn't know anybody and I didn't have a car, right? Or like money to go places and meet people because we were talking about this, to meet people, you often need money, right? Like for a, right. for a cafecito or a little like lunch or car and gas. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like me and my little one and it can be it can be really, really isolating. It, it, took, it took a while for me to understand a lot of things about about meeting people because often you're I was so desperate to make friends that you can like meet the wrong kind of crowd right and that can be really dangerous you know um and then trusting when you have like a kid in the mix and mm -hmm. you're trying to like you know befriend and with friends your age but then it's it's complicated to really find somebody like that that clicks with you and then we were in Atlanta for four years And then we moved here when I was eight months pregnant. Okay. And I had my baby newborn. So who goes out with a newborn, right? You don't really make, make friends. Or right. You right. Know the city or you just don't sleep. Um, and then COVID. And then everybody was like in lockdown. And it's no, there's not a possibility to, you know, go out and make friends. Mm -hmm. It's actually a little heartbreaking to see the kids trying to like, talk to another kid and you're like no don't come back right right um so i was hesitant when i first like started reaching out to Zuli. but then i think we both like needed a friend and we needed the the push that we i think we give each other into like you you're good you can do better <laughs> you're really talented and i think we're really yeah. like cheering for each other which is really fun no, I love that. And, it, and it's a good tema porque I was just speaking uh, to a friend and I, you know, I've done workshops on el tema de finding your executive board. And es diferente de tener amigas in the sense that alguien that can really see your vision, can step into that space, that can give you poras. And, you know, often aquí, I'm, so I'm very involved in my community and I've sat in different nonprofit boards And it's something very like special to be asked to be part of a board. 
So el, el concept that I talked about is not like that, but more of, you know, um, creating that for yourself because we shouldn't do life alone. You know, if we make big decisions, we should, you know, get call a meeting, you know, call, call our, you know, our go to people that can step into that space and give us, you know, real feedback or just hear us. And then also there's a difference between um, understanding who your advocate is and then also the person that just kind of claps for you. And yeah. it took me a long time to understand that it's okay to have a variety of people in your space. But when you have a vision like being a, a, a business owner, launching t-shirts and a, a line of apparel, and you're looking at, you know, podcasting and a lot of different opportunities to grow your business. So uh, not just that thing, but several things. And it's important to be around people that, that get that and that can understand. Porque I remember um, last year, right before COVID happened, I was invited to speak at the university in Boston, Harvard. At Harvard, sometimes I have it a hard, still a hard time to like say it because yes. it seems like it was it was a dream, and it was right before COVID happened. And when I told um, my parents, it was like, okay, I'm up, but this is the conference where Maria <laughs> Selena from Univision was at. This is the conference where blah 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 was at, and no, okay, <laughs> like you know, and it, it wasn't that they weren't excited. It wasn't that. They weren't cheering me on. It was just a, just that that connection is not there, and so I really had to call my executive board, you know, my circle, my tribe, el nombre que tú quieras, but the ones that really I knew that were gonna understand and be like Dominica, own it. Like this is an opportunity that came to you. Um, it was a conference for um, the only. Um, Latina conference for students. And so it was a pretty big deal because the different, um, from different states, Latinas come to this specific conference so they can get that vision that a college like Harvard is attainable to them. Mm -hmm. And so people fly out from all over just to be a part of it. It's gotten a lot of recognition the last couple of years. Um, and a lot of people that I have followed on social media I would I would see like they went to this, you know, they were speakers at this conference and I was like, oh, how, you know, that's amazing. And so I knew that it was something very significant and it was an opportunity to have these conversations of just just have a conversation so they can see someone that looked like them, that had the same immigrant background, that had the same family, mm -hmm. family from Mexico, you know, from Guadalajara, and they're like, oh, wow, she went through all that. That's her family. Like, then I can I can also succeed like she did. Yeah, exactly. yeah. and that can be such a powerful thing. Like, representation really fucking matters. I'm yeah. sorry. Girl. <laughs> it, it's really, it's so underestimated so often. Like, representation matters it matters so much to be able to like look at the screen at the book at the whatever it is you're consuming and saying oh not, not only the empty you can do whatever you want my little one mm -hmm. can i like really can i <laughs> and then right. when you really see people in in public office in in media in opinion leaders sharing their opinions and their thoughts and you're like oh i guess mine matters too you know mm -hmm. i think it can be really really powerful and right. uh with that uh sharing like the story i love hearing the stories of uh latin people uh who goes to other country how how they do it it's really interesting because then you see it like very far away like oh it's like i don't know how she or he did it it's so i don't even imagine i can't even imagine but when they uh share their stories then i i feel like you can say okay maybe there's hope or mm -hmm. there's another opportunity i can do it too those people um uh, maybe i struggle too because it's um challenging uh in 
so many ways and right. language uh, barriers and social life i mean everything it's different country and then the roots are so different too and it's a risk it's uh mm -hmm. yeah, adrenaline <laughs> but i mean it's just the way i see it is let's just do it why not right. we yeah. have the goal so we can win too you know yeah yeah like you said dominica it's an opportunity and you know you gotta grab it right and that's really that's really i feel like when it comes to chasing your dreams or dreaming big or goal setting or being a, an entrepreneur that it really just starts by doing it you know you do it with fear you do it with you know i don't know where that bravery comes from <laughs> yeah. Taking a breath, but you just you just have to do it you know there's no secret sauce mientras tienes ganas es lo que cuenta and i love that so i i know that both of you just came together and started this beautiful brand and so i want to learn more about it a ver cuéntame <laughs> Ay, queen de mi corazón mm -hmm. it's so fun it's my little baby right now so i have nothing but cute things to say about it <laughs> <laughs> i love it um we like like suli said earlier um a lot of the conversations that we were having when we were talking about jewelry pieces, when we were talking about apparel pieces, when we were talking about the website and all of it, one path or another, we always ended up in like the self love. And it's just something that we encourage like ourselves to practice. And I think each other right. a little bit too, when we're like, you know, those self defeating talks that we sometimes have. And uh, we created our, our star piece is the necklace that Suli is wearing right now, okay. which is our logo. Get closer, Suli. So A ver, enséñanos. Enséñanos, enséñanos. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. It's our logo, and it's a heart and a crown. Okay. And uh, behind it is the idea that you are the queen de tu corazón. Mm -hmm. There can be people, there can be kids, there can be men, there can be money. But in the end of the day, like it's you who must be the queen of your heart, of your soul, of your fire, of your choices, of everything that drives you, right? It's like if it doesn't come from a place of self-love and self-respect and self-determination, um, if it comes from there, it's bound to succeed. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a mantra both for ourselves and for our customers. Okay. To keep it close to your heart, to stay connected to you know to your own love, to your own reflection, and and a real reflection of yourself, where you're able to accept you know the ugly and the problems and the messy, um, and all of the other wonderful things that makes us into you know like the magical beings that we are. <laughs> right. Um, so yes, that's, we're really excited about that. And so we have a lot of um, love yourself, mija. Um, some, like a lot of statements of love. We have these really cool loteria earrings. Um, oh, que bonito. I love it. Uh, so everything is like inspired in, in, in Mexico and its traditions. And um, I, I want to show you another one that I have here that is really cute. Okay. Um, uh, so we have really, really fun stuff, really stuff, uh, really fun stuff for moms, for families, mm -hmm. for like this ones. I really cute. Let me take it out of the bag so that it looks cute. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, I have loved the creative process behind mm -hmm. what we're doing because it really starts with like one of us and then like it moves to the other one so this one's we have all of the states in mexico this one is nuevo leon i love it que bonito so that okay. you have like, you know your hometown in your heart even though you're far right. away uh a lot of what we're doing is precisely inspired for all of us who are far away for yes. all of us who who love our roots and we're blooming somewhere else 
uh, who really like miss a lot of things about our Mexico, about our tacos, about our <laughs> loteria nights with our friends, about, mm -hmm. our, you know, tias and abuelitas and all of them that we, that we miss, that it's hard to be far away because it's really hard. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to to raise kids far away from your family and, you know, not having your mom around the corner to just, you know, drop, you, drop her off. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been really nice to see that the sense of community that, that it gets built, no matter where you are, there's a Latino or a Mexican community somewhere. Like if you look, you'll find, you know? And that's a really beautiful thing that we wanted to celebrate, that we wanted to, to enjoy, to experience and to share. Y, y bueno, y justo eh, tomamos esa parte eh, de valor en nuestra, en nuestra marca, ¿no? Eh, uh -huh. eh, el amor propio, la familia y justo eh, empoderamiento hacia las mujeres, ¿no? Eh, hacer este, este camino de cómo aprendimos nosotros en México y a qué nos enfrentamos ahora. O sea, es más uh -huh. bien este, hablar o o desde estas frases o, o tocar estos temas que, que hoy en día pues también nos tocan y estamos viviendo como mujeres eh, latinas o mexicanas y también en otros en otros países, ¿no? Eh, extrañar desde hablar español, desde Spanglish ahora, ¿no? Cómo, uh -huh. cómo se transforma toda, toda esta parte. Eh, mi novio es americano y, y justo uh -huh. luego extraño esa parte de, pues, de hablar ex, español, ¿no? Uh -huh. eh, la parte de expresar, eh, pues, creo que a veces es retador, ¿no? Incluso uh -huh. yo luego lo, lo veo en las palabras de amor, ¿no? Tenemos tanto eh, chiquita, bonita, uh -huh. no sé, etcétera, y, y bueno, ya en inglés me, me siento <ríe> que me complico un poco. No, sí, es cierto. Entonces, desde ahí, pues, eh, extraño eso también, y lo noto, ¿no? Y, y no sé, yo lo decía, hasta las groserías me saben más en español, ¿no? <ríe> que, que decirlas en inglés. Uh -huh. eh, y pues, Justo a veces hasta que estás en otro lado, en otro país, valoras muchas cosas, ¿no? Desde uh -huh. estas frases, desde un simple collar, una simple playera, que pues, a la vez no es simple porque pues te da esa nostalgia de que tienes algo mexicano, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, pues esa parte de conexión también con nuestro país, con nuestras raíces, aunque estemos en cualquier parte del mundo. Sí. No, I love it. Porque it, it just, it's a new culture, right? Of, of a right. combination of being here and being there and being belonging both. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of days ago, I was wearing this one and I okay. was walking in a store and there was this guy coming towards me and we were like, you know, wearing face masks and it's cold. So you could only see like a part of it and then you could mm -hmm. see like my eyes. And mm -hmm. he had a, a face mask and he had a hat on. Mm -hmm. And then he, he's like coming towards me and then he reads it. Like I noticed that he like reads it. And then he like kind of like laughs a little bit and he goes like this and like shows me his hat and it said made in Mexico. Oh. <laughs> and was, we just passed each other. Like there was no more conversation. It was like a, like a small mm -hmm. nod. It was so sweet. It was exciting to see that we thought about this And then we made it happen, and then it really created connection. Right. It was such a cute little experience. Like, oh my God, are you with like my grocery store? <laughs> it was <laughs> really fun. Language. Yeah, that's so uh, how you can connect with other people, identify mm -hmm. yourself. Like, there's uh, Latin or Mexican over there, and mm -hmm. maybe yeah, they understand me. They get me. Yeah, I know. No, I love that. What a beautiful moment. Que bonito. <laughs> like just that connection without words. It was great. It was mm -hmm. so sweet. It was so sweet. I really yeah. love it. <laughs> I love it. I say, um, I think maybe two years ago, I, I, I finished the last series of photos. I had a campaign going um, and it just said Mujer Poderosa. 
And so I gather my friends, I put it on Facebook, and I'm so grateful to everyone who was a part of it. And it was just that, you know, I want to give, I want to give myself, and I also want to give everyone that wants to be a part of it a photo, a photo where they can stand in the moment of being 100% themselves, con mucho amor, that self love, that el poder, you know, just they, I want them to channel it and, the t-shirt signified that. And, you know, we took these photos and I wanted them to have this one photo where if they ever had a moment that they didn't feel good, that they was just going bad, that they can see this photo to remind them que son poderosas. And um, the, the photo took off and I started having other mujeres ask me for different frases. Mm -hmm. And so what they would pick a frase and we would put it on a t-shirt and then we would go and do a photo shoot. We'd put music on. We'd just have fun. You know, we'd, afterwards, we'd go get some drinks. And um, it was such a beautiful moment to have them get the word that they felt connected to and then stand in their power because you can see it in the body, you know, like they stood taller, the, the fierceness, the intensity. And so I can completely identify with that that connection of that moment, you know, and you don't even have to speak. None of us spoke. It was right. Yeah, we did. We did a, an amazing photo shoot for our website and for our social media. And we invited on a Facebook group. We invited a bunch of women, whoever wanted to apply. There was no limit in like height, size, color, age. Okay. You know? And we had. A lot of models, like, you know, a lot of women who are not models um, mm -hmm. apply and we went with eight models and we did this really fun mm -hmm. photo shoot where we had two makeup artists come and they did their makeup and um, I didn't notice it until I saw the pictures, but they did each other's hair there, which I thought I was it. so sweet. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we took photos and honestly, I was very on the moment the day of the photo shoot right mm -hmm. I think everybody had a great time and when i was reviewing the, the the photos oh i love them i love them so much i'm so <laughs> proud of them for so many reasons right. but one of them is that i saw these women who are you know moms mm -hmm. and cooks and house cleaners and accountants and models and all different, you know, experiences and life experiences just come together in this in this hermandad that was so fun. And they mm -hmm. they gossiped about like you put this one and I put this one and you put this one and it was just such a fun and such a cute experience. And it, I think it was very empowering for everybody involved because because you should see those photos. You could you should see those faces like they're they're. They're powerful face, and I would tell them, you know, like give me like right. a Bolsa look, and like, wow, they blew my mind. <laughs> I love it. It was Thank so you. cool. It was so fun to work with them. Yeah, and the most important thing that I saw is how it's so powerful when we support each other, like mm -hmm. woman to woman. Oh my God. Um, yes. <laughs> so a lot of confidence instead of uh, creating another kind of environment, this mm -hmm. was um, with confidence, like uh, no judgment, uh, just mm -hmm. uh, supporting, just appreciate everything or just the way you are. It doesn't matter. Um, if you are tall, short, or whatever, it was mm -hmm. more into the person. And so you can tell that by the faces on the photos. And I think that uh, it's very difficult to achieve. Uh, like, I don't even know if I, we will say like, hey, can you act this? I don't think right. we will be able to do it. It was it just poured out. Not so natural. Like yeah, it came out. No, yeah. Qué bonito. Yeah, it's just something about the poder de wearing something that has a statement and in the moment of feeling really beautiful. And then I love that um, the ladies were doing each other's hair. Qué bonito. Right, right. I, yeah. loved it. I loved it. I thought it was, it was just like a little 
show or sign how it was just to build each other up. It was not competitive or, you right. know, I'm the center and, you know, you move to the back. And mm -hmm. it was not like that. It was not like that. It was refreshing to just, you know, meet with so many women lifting each other up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what is this? Bonito. <laughs> Además, también la respuesta que tuvimos eh, uh -huh. a mí nos sorprendió, a mí me sorprendió. Y, y sobre todo, pues, cómo empezamos a valorar este trabajo también de, de mexicanos, ¿no? Muchas de las cosas que, que estamos ofreciendo en nuestro catálogo, nuestra página, es uh -huh. hecho por artesanos mexicanos. Uh -huh. eh, y, y, y bueno, son personas que pues han pasado los conocimientos de generación en generación, abuelos, bisabuelos, y pues valorar el trabajo que se tardan en hacer una sudadera, por ejemplo, bordada, que son eh, hasta 40 horas, ¿no? E, e, y muchas cosas con las que pues nos hemos enfrentado también, eh, que no es que no, no es con máquinas, ¿no? Hay un trabajo, uh -huh. hay un amor que le imprimen eh, a cada, cada pieza, ¿no? A cada cosa. ¡Qué belleza! Están wow. preciosas. Y están hechas a mano, están hechas a mano con, con amor, con, con dedicación. ¿no? Están wow. muy padres. Sí, muy, muy lindas. Y, y, sí, y justo como eso, ¿no? ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto tiempo se tardan? Le ponen uh -huh. un detalle... Este, en cada en cada cosa no cada cada yeah. detallito cada cubreboca sudadera cada pieza y bueno hay una creatividad eh, enorme y muy diversa en México y sobre todo pues cada estado tiene también eh, su arte particular eh, uh -huh. entonces pues es una fuente de inspiración lo veo así me encanta. Y I like that you share that porque um, yo sé que ahorita hay un poquito de um, diseños americanos que, que están, que tienen un poquito de controversy en la manera de que están agarrando diseños de, de México que no son auténticos. Como appropriation. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. And I, I love that you pointed that out porque... Como está ahora, ahora estaba en una tienda aquí de la, uh, I won't say the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> en miré unos aretitos que tenían el, el ojo. Mm -hmm. uh, me libo ahí, ¿verdad? And I was like, esto se me recuerda a algo que he visto, you know, cuando los que, cuando voy a México, los tienen ahí y eh, no, no sentí el amor. No, you know, it just felt like it was a replica, something. It didn't feel authentic. Mm -hmm. And they were expensive. They were expensive at the store. But, you know, I like, I much rather pay when I know that it's going to go to the person that really, you know, tiene esa obra de, de, de amor with it. And that it goes to their family. It goes to to honor the sacrifice, it honor the love, the time, the commitment that they put into it. And so I love that you're able to, to have that opportunity to be able to help. And it's not algo que es replicado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Así es. Sí, sí, sí. Soli, um, I'm going to speak for you, but um, I, have, I have really enjoyed yeah. seeing her work um online by phone and by text mm -hmm. with all of the artisans in mexico it's really cool it's really cool to see like the, the process the, right. the creative process between between them because i think she's used to it and she's modest about it so she doesn't talk about it often um but we've been talking about like i don't know a design and then she comes up with an idea uh mm -hmm. maybe you do it like this and then she starts texting and at first I wasn't sure if she was ignoring me. And then like a week later, she would like come up to me and like, what do you think? And just show me like the finished piece. And I was like, oh, what? Like this is, this is mind blowing to me, right? Yeah, I love it. Um, and it's really cool to, to just, even from the way that she talks, that, that you talk about them and that there's a respect, like the, Mm -hmm. inside of, of the way in which you like you share the work what they do how how it works um 
I love that. I, I and, and I think that's something that really motivated like in me to work with you, right? That that mm -hmm. I could see that it wasn't just, you know, I'm gonna you know, buy cheap and sell expensive. Mm -hmm. It was there was way more behind it. There was right. there was this appreciation for the process, for the culture, for the materials, mm -hmm. for the for the quality which which is new which is, is so common like what you're saying like you see mm -hmm. it and like it's cute but uh, right i just yeah 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 and i know um it's not just uh as you say just buying and mm -hmm. just selling expensive uh for me it's more than that i i am from guerrero um so it's kind of uh, one of the poorest states from Mexico. And I have been in touch a lot with the community, uh, with the artisans. Uh, I talk with them every day almost. They they feel like my family too. Um, they have shared a lot with me. Uh, they have been in this ship uh, to create new things uh, because that has started to happen in Mexico. So they mm -hmm. they were doing kind of the same things. And then in Mexico, uh, they weren't buying the things. Um, so that has been challenging. And that's how I, I had this vision, like, why don't we start uh, doing maybe uh, the things a little bit different? Right. And, there's when a lot of artisans they they are not very comfortable with the change mm -hmm. and it's understandable but there's the young uh, artisans um, a lot of them that are willing to just get into this adventure and try new new things and that's how uh, I have been been talking with them because at the end i mean i'm not an expert um but i'm i'm trying i'm i'm trying to do new things and i just see them as uh, partners as they are with me too they are trying with me too and right. i'm not uh there to just take advantage of them um como normalmente muchas personas así así lo ven no o, o sea lo ven más como pues algo más frío más de ok está muy barato lo sí, the kind of opportunity to buy cheaper stuff se imaginan right. ya, signo de pesos no a, este, entonces creo que que va más allá de eso y creo que actualmente estamos en búsqueda de de estas marcas, de estas empresas que tengan algo más allá de historia y que no sea eh, o que no se sienta algo como también como cliente soy una más, no uh -huh. soy una persona más, soy un número más eh, que haya un, una relación, un contacto eh, humano no que no se uh -huh. pierda ese contacto humano sí. no, I, yeah, I love it este um, I was at a, no sé si conocen la, tienen la aplicación de Clubhouse. I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, it's almost there, not ready yet, pero estaba en, en un cuarto y era um, un cuarto de, de tequila. Oh, wow. And um, they were talking about how there are some celebrities that just launched a line of tequila all at the same time, three different celebrities and que, um, you know, the people in the room that have their own uh, tequila line that are from Mexico, that they honor the land, they honor the workers, you know, it's true traditional through generations of doing this work. And, um, you know, then there's celebrities that go and, and try to outsource it to pay less and they don't honor the work and the traditions and don't even you know shed light to that and so i think it's important to talk about this this is a good conversation and and definitely i see like a whole nother episode on on it <laughs> because it, it like i really started thinking about it and it gave me awareness like next time that i go to the store and that i 
I whether it be a drink or you know jewelry or clothing to really consider like where it's coming from and who I'm supporting because you know it's it's like when I can give back like I rather be able to support a cause and a passion and a mission and a vision that gives back yeah 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 definitely and you know at least uh, personally it mattered a lot to to create a, a company and to create a brand and to create a, a place and a platform where i could be proud to stand on and that my daughter right. would look my daughter as a latina that is going to probably be underpaid because even though we're fighting hard the good fight we're so many generations away from that, from that, right? From from being a win. Yes. So for her to be able to see that there is people like, you know, like us, like you, like me, like Zoli, trying to fight for the appropriate wages, the appropriate mm -hmm. um crediting. It it yeah. often goes uncredited, right? Like so many work that gets done especially by people of color by mexican people just goes without being credited just you know for exposure or for uh i don't know what they want to call it but it was good to be able to stand behind someone and something that said you know we're working on this it's baby steps and there are a lot of us right <laughs> there's a lot of people right. who want to help um yeah. but let's start with ourselves so so we're here <laughs> no i love it and so what what is the next step for the company what is something that we can look forward to <sighs> that's a very hard question <laughs> <laughs> um we haven't finished like launching what we have yet and okay. we're already designing like things that one that we want to do in the future so mm -hmm. there's a lot more where this is coming from okay so it's coming coming soon it's coming and we also want to do a couple of uh partnerships with different organizations so that specific products can donate to specific causes mm -hmm. um okay. instead of just having like an umbrella thing of saying you know everything we get gets donated because it's not sustainable. <laughs> right. We want to work with different or Latin organizations um, in maybe creating like pieces for them um, to to lift each other up, to continue right. okay. building us and supporting Mexican art and supporting ourselves and supporting what we believe in. And what else do we have in store, Sudi? uh well and then uh so we're working on that so we can open the store online mm -hmm. uh, it's how it's gonna be we are um seeking and working on um, building community and mm -hmm. so we have where we have places so we where we can support each other and and through these uh products that we're gonna sell uh we're hoping uh to have, I don't know, in a month, um, uh, open the online uh, store. Mm -hmm. And so we can just uh, ship um, all, uh, all America and we we send these products and uh, starting by that and then collaborate on as Patty said, says in uh, with other nonprofits to, um, to support, donate, and that's, uh, how we are seeing this right now. And we hope uh, that when we launch and everything, uh, we can have all the support uh, from you, from all the people who is seeing this, uh, from the people mm -hmm. who is uh, hearing this, listening, and to invite everyone uh, to, to think about, to put a little bit of something of, um, Un granito de arena, ¿no? Este, mm -hmm. para apoyarnos entre todos, ¿no? Esa es la idea. I love it. Me encanta. Mujeres, we are coming down to the end of our episode. <laughs> I never wanted to end because I feel like we have so much more that we can talk about. 
Pero, um, is there anything that we didn't cover that you want to share? Make sure that everybody knows. And then before you answer that question, make sure that you let everyone know where to find you. Yes, very smart. I don't know what I want to share. What do you want to share? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you can find us uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and web page is going to be queendemicorazon.com or queendemicorazon in social media. Uh, so we are happy to have you uh, follow us and um, pues estén al pendiente porque vamos a estar publicando cuando ya abramos la tienda online y puedan comprar. <laughs> Mil me gracias encanta. por todo, por esta oportunidad y me encantó. No, thank, of course. Thank you, thank you. And, and love yourself, mijas. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, I love it. Mujeres, thank you so much for your time. And I know that you'll have a whole community with our listeners and our viewers that are gonna stand alongside of you because I really am a believer that Unidas Somos Más Fuertes. Yes. And so I'm excited for your launch and I'm sure we'll see both of you again on another episode because we, yeah. we, this conversation is not done. We can, we can yeah. talk some more. <laughs> <laughs> and so everyone that is watching, everyone that is listening, thank you for being here and supporting Cafecito en Conversation. So we will see you on the next episode of Coffee and conversation. Gracias, mujeres, for being here. Thank Salud. you. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh -huh.